The one thing that sucks about the current SAG after strike is that we don't actually get Brie Larson doing the PR tour for the Marvels. You just know you could count on her just absolutely insufferable wokeness out there uh, trying to use whatever privilege she has to promote whatever woke du jour uh, topic is out there. That's what she was doing all through the Captain Marvel press tour, what she was doing leading up to it. Uh, but we, uh, we're, we're really missing that. I was really <laughs> hoping to get some of that stuff, but unfortunately we're not going to get that, but we are getting some of it from the Marvel's director, Nia DaCosta. She's doing her best to, uh, fill in for Brie Larson. She recently spoke to total film and said that the biggest difference from the other MCU movies to date is that it's really wacky and silly. She's saying that the Marvels separates itself from other MCU movies because it's wacky and silly. What? Like, that is not what people want from Marvel anymore. I think people are tired of the wacky and the silly. They're tired of having these very serious moments broken up by some dumb, stupid joke that removes you from the entire story. You lose immersion because it's so dumb. It doesn't make any sense. And it, and it takes away the drama, the tension that you had just built up in the previous scene. And I think people are tired of that. That's one of the biggest criticisms I see uh, of a lot of these Marvel films. Now it's one of my biggest criticisms. I'm tired of the James Gunn humor. I'm tired of the Taika Waititi humor. I'm tired of that filmmaking style. I just don't like it anymore. And it sounds like she's doing the same thing and trying to take it to a whole nother level. Um, so I, I absolutely no interest in that. And, and we saw this in the trailer, right? You saw this in the trailer. They try to do all the, the quirky, weird humor that Marvel is now known for with the, with the, with them changing places and stuff like that. And then you had the whole like, uh, Kamala Khan being scared of the flir- like she screams after the flirkin like eats those guys and stuff like that. So that was that like, that seems to be the humor that we're getting. And I don't think that that's wackier or sillier than anything else we've seen before. It just seems j- more of James Gunn dance off at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy. More Taika Waititi making fun of Loki who can never now uh, get one over on Thor. And Thor always knows he's up to some kind of plot, and uh, his plots are always stupid and dumb now. So her comments don't really make any sense here. It looks like we're getting the same old schlock from Marvel based on the trailers. Uh, and then her claiming that this is somehow a what people want. <laughs> it's just like, what? Where have you people been? People don't want this anymore. They're getting tired of it. Your box office grosses are declining because of this crap. Nevertheless, she then goes on and says, the worlds we go to in this movie are worlds unlike others you've seen in the MCU, bright worlds that you haven't seen before. I mean, I guess maybe you're creating some new world or something like that, but I doubt that they're any different from any of the other worlds we've seen in Guardians of the Galaxy or the Thor movies or any of the other cosmic Marvel films like that. I mean, we've seen plenty of bright, bright planets in Thor Ragnarok. We saw plenty of bright planets in Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I just don't see how we're going to get anything that's super different from what we'd already seen before. I mean, again, like you said, like I said, maybe you will get a different planet, but I doubt that it's really that different from what we've already seen in previous MCU installments. Uh, And that's pretty much what she had to say. It's not to the degree of what we would get maybe from a Brie Larson, but uh, this is just the beginning of their press stuff. Uh, We still have till November 10 when this movie comes out. So I expect a lot more. And the directors are the ones now who are going to be doing a lot of this stuff uh, as well as the producers. So I expect a lot of that from Nia DaCosta. I definitely expect them to go full on intersectional feminism with the marketing campaign. And I can't wait to cover it and lampoon it as it should be. Subscribe for more.